All right, all right. Yeah. We know now. The Stockholm Syndrome is a psychological response which occurs when hostages or victims of abuse bond with their captors and abusers or develop affection for them. It appears such situation is on the hand in, in our hands in Nigeria. The Inspector General of Police, IGP Usman Baba Akali, said some of the rescued Chibok girls, particularly those who have been put in the family way, always made moves to return to their abductors under different guises. Speaking in Abuja, the IGP, who justified police negotiations to secure release of kidnapped victims, confirmed the arrest of some suspects in connection with the recent terror alert in Abuja. He stated that plans are on the way to prosecute them after necessary investigations. Jide, let's talk about these Chibo girls, because some people, they are still, you know, counting down that it is how many these Chibo girls, government, the, um, the government of Nigeria must get back these girls. But the story has changed. The narrative has changed ever since these girls were abducted. The real sense of it is that some of them are mothers, or most of them, if not dead, are mothers right now. Mm -hmm. And we've seen situations whereby they had to just go back to some visa forest to meet in search of their husbands. There are a number of reasons for that. Um, when these people return home, they are not properly integrated to the society. They, in fact, our people tend to stigmatize them, stigmatize them you know, treat them like um, worthless rag. Hmm. And the affection, the love that they craved eventually gets denied them. So that way they feel like they should just return uh, to to their husbands in the in the forest. Someone, you know, this thing called love uh, and affection. Well, it's difficult to explain. In the real sense of the word, the person who married, who illegally married the girl, may the girl may not have been uh, among those who abducted them. Mm -hmm. Because the operation could not have been carried out with everyone uh, who is a Boko Haram fighter, mm -hmm. you know. So invariably, Some of them they, get, they get mm -hmm. so used to their husbands in the forest, do everything together, talk about life, they even plan with them. The hatred that they had for the Boko Haram group initially will have been watered down by the relationship no, between wash them, so, uh, so. husband and wife. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, uh, it's the person, uh, you know, these guys were young, they were 15, 16 at that time. Mm. You know, so at that point, it's easy to brainwash them, uh, promise them all kinds of things and all that. So when they now return to the society, or the society doesn't integrate them properly. We've seen some guests that were released and then sent abroad to school. Yeah, a graduate that's, Yes, they are graduate. That's a success story. But what this means is that we have to monitor them. When we secure their release like that, we have to also monitor them. How are they doing in their families? How have they been re re received? If their families don't receive them very well, because even the issue of trust comes in, we've seen Someone who left the forest, came into town, and eventually killed his father, mm. sold his uh, cows, and returned to the forest. So these stories are there. So people will treat them with mm. uh, extreme caution mm. because they are not sure that they've severed their relationship totally with the uh, terrorists. Ter terrorists. So that's the point. The reason a lot of them are going back, they are, they, they, they are, in fact, if some have their way, and I've seen the video of some Boko, uh, of Chibok guests who said they have no plan, they don't want to go home. Those ones, they were even carrying guns in that video. They've been totally brainwashed. They, they now see themselves as fighters. Hmm. 
thoroughly brainwashed. The issue of freedom you does not... Nigerian government or the normal people as enemies. They don't want to even, don't discuss it. They are married to commanders. Because those married to commanders, they get more perks. They are better treated... And they are radicalized. They are better treated than the ones who marry ordinary fighters. The spoils of war, when they attack communities, these, those spoils of war, the commanders take first and then extend to their wives. So wives of commanders are far better treated than wives of ordinary Boko Haram fighters. Mm. So some women in that category, some of these girls in that category, will not feel that there's any need to go back. Mm. They've been used to that horrible life. They want to remain there. They think that even if they die, they are, they, are, they are going to uh, heaven. So I'm not surprised that this thing keeps happening. And this IG has shown that he's someone who speaks the truth. Usually, they don't even tell us that negotiations, that they negotiate with uh, terrorists or with bandits. But here, he's, he's admitting that, yes, we negotiate. And it, it, it's not in all cases that you can use force, hmm. you know? Negotiating and coming to lie to us that uh, you rescue is, 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 is illogical. Mm. People know situations in which you cannot okay. rescue. Mm. So when you negotiate, why don't you come clean? Look at the general in Kessin. He explained why they had to withdraw. Mm. It is the one who withdraws that has his life intact in, in to fight another day. Mm. You are not going to waste, wait until those Ukrainians slaughter all of you. The man explained. Now look, we are where we are now. We are safer there, behind the river. So I'm happy the IG said, yes, we negotiate because in all, it's not in all cases that we can rescue. So these lies that we are often told that, oh, we, we, we secure release, mm -hmm. when actually you, you the paid actually ransom. paid ransom. Mm. Remember the case of someone from Oyo State. Mm. He was he paid ransom with his own money, mm -hmm. only for the police to claim that they, they, yes. they actually rescued. Rescued. such nonsense should stop. Mm. If we, we know that your hands can be tied in some situations. So what is the point? If it's the freedom of that person that we are that we will appreciate. So if you can negotiate to make sure that someone's life is saved. Why not? And that's what the IG has said. Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, it is. Uh, in love with your abductors, with yes. your oppressor. Well, <laughs> it happens. No. Um, Go back to the village. Let, Go back to let the me tell you, the, the mind and the heart. God is only God that knows what He put the heart of a man and that of a woman. When to try to cohabit, habitate together for some time. There's always a tendency that. You, you get to like yourself. Yes. It's uh, really when population comes when population, Yes, when it comes to... There is nothing you can do. And most especially... Let me even say that there is one, one, there's one uh, uh, popular saying that uh, um, when your girlfriend mm. has slept with your friend, mm. you have to be very careful. Very, very. You become the endangered yeah, species. You have to be very you careful. Have to. So what's that relationship... Or is, is it your friend or your enemy? Any. When your girlfriend has slept with, with your, your enemy, enemy then you, then you have to be very careful. Because they are next online. Mm. So it's natural. Mm. Uh, some of them had kids already for these people. No, when they come back to the villages, nobody is going to marry them with two children. No. Nobody. No. Nobody is going to accept those two children mm. as his. Mm. You understand what I mean? Nobody children is going to of do terrorists. That. Children mm. of terrorists. Mm. Then anywhere they go stigma. don't you don't the you, stigma don't is you there. Mm. even their own family find it difficult to yeah to accept the them. Like, so this is not the daughter so this I is not the girl this is not yes. what i want this is what the, 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 the mother and parents will be saying just do and go back if she huh? does anything Look do and go back to your husband no, the other day yes, now, now. who was saying people killed us yeah. they burnt our society yeah. how do we accept them yes. mm. the governor was begging, begging. And let's let's accept these people so, I mean, it's difficult so 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 that is it there's nothing you can do about it it's a fact then also, even security agencies will be looking at them with some kind of, you know, yes. and they'll be suspecting like them. Their whether they are going they to place some under surveillance. Yes, yeah, they put them under surveillance. Yeah. Whether yeah. they are getting information, gathering information for their husband. For their husband. Yeah. So that in itself is a problem. But the second part of um, the, what we are teaching is that the, the IG also admitted that some people have been arrested over the terror alert mm. that was raised in Abuja. 
which also means that some of those alerts that were raised by certain countries. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's quickly take this far. Uh, um, Julius is calling us from Valencia in Spain. Thank you for joining us, Julius. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, All right, go ahead. I want to quickly touch on the former issue. How can a, an, a, some individual be, be receiving salary bigger than that of a president of a nation, mm -hmm. as big as Nigeria? This is it's not heard anywhere in the world. And as I keep saying, and no one has ever come from the NNPC because I have someone saying who is an insider that especially the the refinery from the Niger data, that they do they do work every day and produce oil. And the oil is loaded in the ship, taken to Lagos, Nigeria paid for transport to and fro as if it was coming from Holland or wherever they are refining it. We are in a very big mess in this country. I just pray that as you people begin to talk, the very one uh, security agency should look into it. And uh, whatsoever you people are saying now, I just thank God for every one of you. Chibiko, uh, God bless you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, so as I was saying, um, it goes to show that some of those red alerts that were mm. raised by most of these embassies mm. was not just... Were genuine. Mm. Were genuine. Mm. Which is why some of us, as well in the media, were a bit taken aback by some of the comments of those in government. Mm. Instead of looking at the issues as they, they were attacking the embassies, they were attacking the countries and mm. the rest of mm. them, you, you can attack the, uh, the, but the message you cannot because they must have gotten there. So the IG has come out to yeah. say that, and good enough, now these people will be prosecuted. If that alarm was not raised, probably would have just gone to sleep yeah. and just treated. You remember what happened? when the issue of uh, the various uh, uh, information that was given about the Kujie prison, mm. the deputy speaker of the House of Representatives stated that about 40 or 40-something mm. intel were received. Mm. And no single, nobody mm. took mm. a single step to be able to remedy that. So those are the issues. I'm so, sure that's, that's even why those, uh, yeah. the West, that was why, that's they, they, went ahead. That's why they went to town. Did, why? You know? did they, how are you even sure that, before they raised the alarm, that they have not sent these signals to our government agencies? And because they refuse to take action, then they have to come up with that. So those are the issues. Then uh, the, we, uh, the, we have admitted now that arrests were arrest made, made in respect, in respect of, that, of that, which means which means that, that the the noise that they made yeah, was a valid one. Very very. It is not us to move quickly. What if we didn't go to make those arrests? Mm. You know, so well, mm -hmm. instead of saying, oh, uh, have they been able to stop uh, 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 school, US, school attacks school attack and US, all that? United States and America is a country the size of West Africa. It is not possible for you to totally defeat crime in such a big mm -hmm. country. Our own mm -hmm. country is not even as big as, it's not as big as Chad, it's mm -hmm. not as big as Mauritania, mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. as big as uh, uh, Niger Republic, mm -hmm. not as big as Libya. Nah not as big as uh, um, Algeria, mm -hmm. we need to protect mm -hmm. our country better. And if people, say be the UN building before our eyes was bombed. bombed. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if they raise the alarm, mm -hmm. we are not supposed to abuse them. Mm -hmm. We are supposed to just quietly walk towards ensuring that the things that they talked about do not happen. Mm -hmm. After our alarm was raised about Kujie prison, mm -hmm. and before our eyes, Mm. Those boys came, re, uh, released their, 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 their colleagues, mm. and yeah. even operated for over an hour mm. and walked away, and no arrest was made. Till now. Yeah. No arrest was made. No, to even allow them escape on those their bicycles right. into the forest, forest without arresting That's anybody in the seat of power mm. is mm. a matter that continues to put us to shame. You know? so, mm. And finally, it has said.